Hey, how's it going, boys? What is up? So it's back once again for yet another character impression. This time we are in the second part of Lake Fest. We have uh, new characters that be that have been introduced thanks to the event. Because this dude here, our resident noise, has been uh, kind of shown in the event, I think. Even let us uh, toy with him a little bit, but I didn't really care too much about it. But anyways... So now he is a fire boy. So he's a fire boy. He has a lot of fucking HP because he's a defensive character. Wait. For a defensive character, his attack is relatively okay as well. Damn, 1920 HP is f a lot though. Seven, 7200 attack, spear, human. Langsai, Pangsai, okay, yep. <laughs> yep, I'm, I'm just gonna call that shit, shit Ogi, alright. It's the, the taking a shit Ogi, alright. Massive fi fire damage to a full bonus fire damage based on Dragonian level. Max is 5 hits. For those who are wondering, that's uh, actually what it means is uh, taking a poop in Hokkien. <laughs> if, if anyone's wondering. <laughs> okay. Alright, that was a lame joke. Okay, moving on. Dra Draken Ritter Shield. 50% to all elemental at damage cut to all allies and 20% wind damage cut. Consumes 20% of caster's max HP. 7, 6 turns, right? Yeah, 6 turns cooldown. That's not bad though. Six turns cooldown with that doesn't sound too bad. Stout skewer. Fire damage to a foe. Hit to attack stackable. Number of activations increase based on draconian level. So that's 10%. Seems to be pretty normal to have like 10%, huh? Ekwaken. Did I even say that correctly? Akwaken, Erkwaken, uh, I guess. I, I, I guess that's what it is. <laughs> Substitute effect is caster. Additional effect when draconian level is at uh, <laughs> not even close. Good. <laughs> level is uh, three or higher. Sharp boost to attack. He gets assassin. <laughs> so this is six turns cooldown as well. This is seven turns cooldown. So it just this is just substitute. And if it's like three or higher, he gets assassin. How big is his assassin? Fifty percent. Dragonian Duty. Raise Dragonian level by 1 when an ally uses a skill that consumes HP or max HP. Huh. Does that not apply to himself as well? Amplify normal attack damage based on level. Takes a lethal hit without being knocked out. Consumes 1 level. Oh. Hail Knight Hidden Dragon. Deal triple attacks, low charge bar gain counters upon taking damage two turn two hits. So every turn he can counter. I mean, this is nice, I guess. <laughs> Uses a skill that consumes HP. So I guess you a character like Uesis or some shit is gonna be like a really good character to have with him, I suppose, right? Or what's what's the other character like, Therese, or some shit. Belfast? The Azurlena? Wow. This is like the shittier version of uh, Poseidon's weapon but in fire. <laughs> Wait, this one is not even full of my break yet. Never mind. Okay, so his Amplify is Seraphic Modifier. <laughs> I like I like how uh, this one is written as NA damage. Okay, so drag. Okay, so his draconian duty amplify thing. He gets extra North American damage up to twenty five percent at five stacks. I mean, he looks alright. Yeah, he looks alright. Wrong screen. Wait, what? Why is it over there? Wait, what? <laughs> Nani? 
I just realized, what the fuck is wrong with my shit? Eh? My OBS is actually fucked up. <laughs> I'm using my middle screen. Uh, this is my, this is my screen for my, uh, this scene that I'm using right now. If anyone's wondering on my OBS thing, this is supposed to be my middle screen, but it's showing my other screen. <laughs> That's why I'm so confused right now. Like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> and then if I go to the other screen, it's showing my middle screen. It's like it just got swapped for some reason. I didn't even change anything. Oh well, whatever. I'll just fix it later. Uh, his EMP has admitty charge bar. Uh, crap. Yeah, crap. CA damage, one crit, four defense, two HP. Yeah. Uh, I think what's gonna happen is that you will just. Max out his enmity and shit. That, that, that. And then... A, one or two points on this. Put the rest on either in defense or HP. But I would probably put in more onto defense. Because he doesn't have any defense, right? Yeah. He has like no defense up or anything. I don't think HP really matters. The total amount of HP. He has that, right? But... Would definitely be better if you just level that I suppose he has so much fucking he has so many fucking defense nodes <laughs> he is a defensive character supposedly anyway <laughs> he can tank pretty well I suppose I mean he can actually grab his shit relatively easy though know? this like I guess yeah if you even put like splitting spirit on MC is also pretty easy I suppose Seems relatively easy for him to get the stacks, I, I, I reckon. And from what I can also see is that uh, as long as you're fighting a, a boss or raid, whatever, that doesn't multi heal a lot, he technically shouldn't die. Right? Yeah. As long as you have a little bit of healing and shit, right? Because you can always get one... St he only consumes one stack. Because he has guts every time. So as long as you can just... Consistently somewhat heal him. And she will just technically will never die. Essentially. So it's... Okay? <laughs> it doesn't seem to be like a bad character. But... Hmm. Feels kind of like a, a character that you don't really use that often too. Unfortunately. Yeah, I, I I I really don't think people really want to use a character like him though. But the only thing that I really noticed that is really cool is his is his uh the amount of uh, defensive options he has though. He has assassin out of this as well. So I guess that's something. Um If, from what I can see, right, if your Dragonian level is actually capped, this thing hits a lot, apparently. <laughs> because from what I can see here, his, uh, his second skill, each hit is 500k base cap. So technically, you can get very, very close to 1 million or maybe 1 million or higher base cap per hit. <laughs> and he gets up to... Six hits. So technically speaking, he can nuke. He can nuke six million plus damage every seven turns. I mean that that, that on paper it sounds pretty cool though, right? <laughs> I mean it's, it, it it hits pretty hard. The only thing that's really consuming is it's the 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 guts thing. And doesn't he also doesn't mention that this really consumes, so he just essentially just gets assassin, I suppose. So that's cool. I think he's just his biggest issue is just he cannot fight multi-hit character uh, raids, multi-hit bosses or something. Anything else, it seems to be actually okay.
but other than that, I think it's okay though. But like, I do think Coles is much better than him though, because they are technically subticable, right? They're both fire as well. Because I feel like the 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 thing is about noise, right? Is his the way his character works right now? It's like a combination of it's trying to somewhat be like Athena, but it's not. <laughs> so it's really odd. Because the thing is, like, he has Assassin, he has lots of nukes as well. And he can technically get a lot of extra auto damage as well, based on his that that's his Dragonian stacks as well. So it's like, he, he, he seems to be like, all over the place right now. But at the same time, he doesn't sound too bad though. Yeah, it does feel slow a little bit. It just feels like you're, you're really forced to like, if you want to speed him up, you're forced to like use all those stuff that really consumes your HP. You know, like MC Splitting Spirit, UECs, or you know, like fucking, uh, yeah, like uh, Therese or some, you know, basically all those other characters that really, I because it says either you take your HP, like you reduce your HP for something, like even Summer Beatrix does that too, I think. Does she? I don't remember. <laughs> I think she does. But yeah, you know, like either you do that or you reduce the total of your max HP. I know Therese does that. So there are a few characters that you can do that, but like you're kind of like locked onto using characters like that too. So in a way, it's kind of like, eh, you know, that's why I think is he's probably a very niche character. To me, I, he sounds very niche right now though. Like he's cool, but like you're, you're kind of gated to have those specific characters, which in a way, it's not that great, <laughs> you know? It's like you're you're really just stuck onto having characters that supposedly they eventually kill themselves, <laughs> you know? Because if, like, it doesn't look like if you, have, if you have that type of party, right? You're not going to last long, you know? I don't think you will. That's why it's not really a good idea, because it's like, not to mention, this guy also requires some heals to stay alive. You know, because of this thing. He like can consistently take the hits or, or, or shit like that, right? But he will eventually die, right? Because, you know, he'll always uh, try to cast this at, at times. Or if you're like, you're trying to use him in like full auto or some shit. He'll just eventually die if he doesn't get any like heals or whatever, because he's eventually going to be like, really really like stuck in red HP right if you're like consistently just casting this off cooldown or something so it's not really a good idea he's he's probably better off playing manual as well from what I can see like your party setup should be something like manual not really a full auto type of guy unfortunately I wouldn't really say he's a frau enabler cause it really just depends too cause like he, it's like, you, if you have other characters, like say for example, if you have Uesis, right? Which I honestly think Uesis is a much better character anyway. She'll probably die a lot faster if you really just want like Frau to come out like ASAP kind of thing. This one, if like, if you if you say for example, like if you want Frau to come out eventually, but not too early, then yeah, I guess, I guess Noise can be that guy. So it's not, it's not ideal, you know, that's why. So... That's why I think he can be either very, very situational or just super niche right now. So it's kind of like, eh, you know? But yeah, I mean, his, uh, his character mechanic seems okay, I suppose. I mean, this one is kind of cool. He just doesn't die and shit. And, but this one though, it's just that if he consistently get like, you know, a lot of multi hits kind of thing, he's just, he's just going to die really, really quick, right? Say like for example, like maybe like upcoming Guild War for example, right? One one of the triggers of the boss does like 10, 10 15 hits, right? For example. Because we, we all know there are triggers like that in Guild War. <laughs> or even normal bosses. I think even Grimnir does shit like that too. So if, say for example, he takes shit like that, right? And so happened that your, 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 uh, you manual and you use this in a different, uh, different timing. He is probably going to die. <laughs> if you use these two together, right? Which is 
how it's supposed to be because they're both 6 turns, right? If you use this too, then he shouldn't die. But if he takes way too many hits anyway, he will eventually die. Because it really also looks like you they want you to use these two together. His first and third skill. This one is only when you uh, have your shit up or something. But yeah, for now, I think he's just gonna be super niche right now. I mean, he's like, to be fair though, his, uh, his Dragonian duty amplified and NA damage thing is pretty cool though. But, uh, I don't know, man. Doesn't seem that great, to be honest. Nice cat and uh, Vaseraga. You, you don't need too many that. that that's just way too many sustain, man. If you, because to me, right, if you want a character that gives you sustain, like say, for example, Vaseraga, right? Him alone is already more than enough. If you put any more, it's already overdoing it. You're you're like losing out way too much on damage already at that point. Because to me, right, looking at his skill that uh, skills right now, right, it doesn't feel like he's really gonna be able to dish out like crazy damage, you know? Because if you know like if you compare to like if I would even say like uh the likes of Uesis or even other characters that would probably be able to do more. Even her last would probably do more. Because this one really requires you to have like that specific shit in order for you to actually just do a fuckload of damage. Plus, this requires you to even have like that type of grid where you have a lot of skill damage as well. Or skill cap, whichever. So it's like you you're you're really just gated on just having that that type of uh, skill-based shenanigans kind of bullshit, then maybe he can be good. But I feel like with this type of character, right, I honestly think it's just better off just using other types of characters anyway. Especially if you want to do like relatively okay damage, but at the same time you are sustaining relatively hard as well. Yeah, I would like e even in comparison to Vase Raga, I would even prefer using Vase Raga too. Because I would definitely see Vase Raga doing way more overtime compared to this guy. This guy maybe may have will be doing more if only if like you're using like that specific acne grid or some shit. But other than that, it's like if you say like just you know like Magna or typical uh Agni grid or whatever without like Kubira shit. Then yeah, he's probably not going to do as much. But yeah, I think that's how I uh, feel about this character right now. I do not have the character because I didn't bother rolling. So there's no testing. Yeah, I think that's all I can say about this character. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys on the next one. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, bye. Okay.